Hi folks, welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. That's all I'll say. No, I won't, I'll talk a little bit more. <laughs> we have a lovely backdrop here. Yes, we have one of the best spaceships in the entire sci-fi universe of Doctor Who. And uh, the poor old moon has just been bombarded in the background. And is that water? Is that water over there? It was. Now gone. Um, but yeah, that's what a moon bombardment is like. So, let's have a little bit of fun in Universe Sandbox 2, shall we? Let's declare some shenanigans. So, what if we put a gas giant in the Goldilocks zone, slap on a couple of rings, have the Earth orbit said gas giant, and have a moon orbit the Earth? What would that do to the solar system? And would that make life impossible on the Earth? Because we are in the Goldilocks zone. So, here's our random gas giant. Here is our lovely Earth. And, uh, I'm already seeing no ice already. And we're in real time here. 15 degrees. So let's zoom out just to get an idea of what's going on here. There's our lovely little. So, moon orbits Earth, orbits. What are we calling this? Nostaski? Nostaski? Nus. Let's call it Nus for short. And this is in our own little solar system here. So, let's zoom out. I'm sure it'll have some sort of effect on Venus. Because we were after introducing a lot of mass to the system. Um, do we have. Orbits. There we have our orbits. Now, let's just speed things up here. I don't even know if this is going to be stable. The moon, moon's orbit is looking a little bit funny. <laughs> it is looking a little bit funny already. Is the moon going to impact the Earth? Look at this gas giant is already cooking. It's too close to the sun. It's too close to the sun. The Earth's temperature is staying constant enough. 15.1. But this guy over here is cooking up a storm. Oh, that moon is coming down. <laughs> So that's interesting. So the moon... Oh, hang on a second. The, well, the moon is doing some crazy stuff here. But it's... Hang on, this is... That's the periaps. The periaps is the one that's near the Earth. That's actually increasing again. What an unusual... What an unusual um, orbit the moon has. Wasn't expecting that. So, that's a glorious sight. Now, they're just kind of standard enough Saturn rings. Now, there still seems to be like vegetation. I'm not seeing any ice, though. Or is that ice there? Hang on. Neighbor climate. Ah, on. Sorry, I had climate off. Silly me. I do apologize. So, that's a lovely sight though. Now, is the mass decreasing? This is 10 times that of the Earth. 
Density 277. Age, it's only 2.65 days old. <laughs> so she's only a baby. Can we see the Earth? We can. As it's bleeding away. Right, how is our moon looking? What are the orbits like here? Man, that moon is doing some crazy, crazy things. Okay, the moon has lost orbit. We have lost the orbit of the moon. It is now in an independent orbit of Earth and circling the sun. That's interesting. But surprisingly, I thought there would have been some negative interaction here between this gas giant and the Earth. But there doesn't appear to be. Water level seems fine. There does seem to be... What? Like... It's, it does look a little bit chillier at the caps here. It does look a little chillier at the caps, I will say that. Some areas look like the water has receded a bit. But that would make sense if there's more ice because obviously that would more ice should bring down the water level a bit. Because it's locked up a little bit more. There's Hawaii. Now this has really got my curiosity. Curiosity going. I just I thought I wasn't sure that line was there, but it's the moon's orbit. We have a lot of ice coming down here into the kind of the Asian peninsula, Russia, China, and so on and so forth. There's the snow caps, Pyrenees and the Alps. Not the Pyrenees. Uh, oh, I can't think of the mountain range. Must do geography more. But that's kind of cool. It's a lovely sight though. Now this seems to be cooling down a bit. It is. It is cooling down and it's cooling down a hell of a lot. It was up into the high 3000s or high 2000s at least. Was, was the moon having that much of an effect? It's still bleeding off atmosphere. Look it's down to 9.61 earths as regards to mass. Which is interesting. So eventually that's just going to start to wither. And disappear. Hmm. Interesting. Now. What if. We. Let's add something else into the mix here. I decided to get a little. Little bit of a rock. I say a little. It's 162 meters. So. It should have an. I think minimal impact. This is Apophis. Yes, Apophis. For all you Egyptian fans and Stargate fans as well. Where is this going to hit? I th I'm thinking it's going to hit India. And I'm kind of thinking it'll be kind of anticlimactic. Because it's, don't get me wrong, it's a pretty big rock. But it's still quite small. When we've seen Mars hit Earth and all other sorts of collisions as well. But it's quite a nice view. So, don't forget, let me know in the comment section below what you'd like to see in the next video. What is your what if scenario? And thanks for all your support. We have surpassed 7,000 subscribers in crazy time for me. And I'm truly humbled. Thank you very much. And for those new to the channel, don't forget you can like, share, subscribe to stay up to date with all of the shenanigans that we have going on here. And I am over on Twitter as well. Oh, we're going to get water. Water landing. So mega tsunami on the way. Little blip. <laughs> As I predicted. Little bit of debris there. 
Oh, I was like, I was hoping for a little bit more. I truly was. So, listen, don't say I never do anything for you. Let's, uh... Oh, do you know what we can do? I think we can... Can we do some fireworks? I don't know how to do fireworks in this game. Um... Just to celebrate 7,000 subscribers. Let's blow up the gas giant, shall we? Let's see what effect this has on the earth. Nice sound effects. I wonder will the explosive nature of this have any effect on the rings? Kind of nice, actually. And just because I'm in that kind of mood, let's turn off orbits for a second. And let us do the same. Powers explode. Now that's nice. I like this. So don't forget, I have other, think, mildly interesting videos on the channel that you may like. Um, they should be popping up on the screen in a few moments as we watch this exploding star engulf our solar system. Now with the magnitude of space, temperature of the Earth hasn't really changed much. Even though this beautiful yet extinction level event approaches us at tremendous speeds I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one bye bye